Okay, everybody with me? And we're going to talk now about the brush system. I'm going to give you an overview of it. What is a brush? Um, I'm going to talk about the system, all of the guys, everything that's relevant for them. And then we're going to break down and, and start to explore stuff, uh, each of those independent elements. Okay, so the first thing, let's just talk about the basic mechanics of a brush. Before I get into the system, let's talk about the basic mechanics. Most of you, I'm sure, have been into Photoshop. And inside Photoshop, you go into the brush presets. I forget where they put it in the new version. But they'll have somewhere in there this thing called spacing. That's a slider. And as you adjust that slider left or right, then it starts to increase the size of these dots or decrease the size of these dots. Or I should say actually more specifically, you'll either see the dots or you'll see them all pushed together in one stroke. So the first thing you need to know about a, a stroke is that it's not a stroke. It's a dot. Every line, you know, you go back to, I, don't, I didn't do well in school, so I don't know when they introduced this, but every line is composed of dots. The dots are just very, very, very close to each other. That's relevant because of, remember that, that um, line I drew, and I'll, I'll try to do it again now. Yeah, man, that hurt. There we go. I moved my cursor really, really, really fast. And the only thing my screen drawing program was able to do was drop a dot, 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 a dot. And then, of course, the way it works is that it connects the dots with a line. Excuse me. <coughs> ZBrush is exactly the same. And this was a bit of a problem back in the old days because of um, because as ZBrush became more kind of awesome and uh, people were using it more and more, there's guys like, say, Neville Page, and I'm using him because he's really the perfect example. Uh, Neville Page would be kind of working these high-res models and he would be detailing form, um, really getting in and working the line. And he'd be doing this with a standard brush. And uh, let's go ahead and, and say, turn this off. So let me see if I can use it a little bit. There we go. I'm going to increase the intensity so you can see that a little better. Dot, 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 and then they get closer together. So this was a problem that plagued ZBrush 2 because it was doing the best it could with your computer system, the hardware processor, and, um, and your RAM, but it just hit a limit sometimes. And so you had to kind of really massage how many polygons you had, how many things were inside of ZBrush. You had to do things like lower your document size, which you would never do today, just because it was taking up like that extra little bit of RAM. And then this eventually got solved, much as in the same way that you can see Camtasia draws a dot from my, draws a line from dot to dot. ZBrushes was very similar. They put in a thing called Lazy Mouse. And lazy mouse just meant no matter what's going on, you're always going to have a straight line. And you'll see this a lot where they add a new feature to compensate instead of altering the code underneath. And then what they do is they'll just turn that feature on for all the new brushes that need it, for example. And there's a reason for that. 
Um, but it can seem a little crazy because now suddenly you have to learn all these new features. So lazy mouse, the primary thing that it does is just from each dot, it's going to go back or it's just going to force itself to process it slower so that it's a more continuous line. But like I said, almost all the brushes that you, uh, that you see now will have that actually uh, turned on to some extent now. And also remember, ZBrush is having to do all of this stuff at 60 frames a second or thereabouts. So it's a lot for your computer to do and have you know millions of polygons uh, in there. Okay, we're going to take a look at more of the settings for all of these later. But that'll give you kind of an introduction into what an actual brush is. A bunch of dots strung together. You can see it even more clearly. I'm going to do this just one more time. If we use an alpha, you know, that was my, my line working really fast. Let's do that a little larger. There you go. So they're closer together in some parts, farther apart in others. And we come in here and turn Lazy Mouse on. And now they're all pretty uniformly set. That uniformity is, is Lazy Step. So you can actually move them closer. But anyways, I digress. Let's get ourselves talking about what the brush system is. What are the elements? What are the things that we need to be talking about? Yeah, I like that mohawk. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> 